Hello, hello everyone. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend and uh, I'm not at work, but I technically am kind of working. Um, I'm going to do a quick little tip video for you today. Um, this is something if any of you start coming across um, once your business is sort of growing a little bit. And you might start coming across um, some bigger jobs coming your way. Or maybe if you just started out and you get lucky um, and quite a large um, a homeowner of a large property gets in touch. Um, there's a, a little tip that I'll explain today, which might help you sort of get um, more likely to win the quote or um, even just a bit of room to breathe before you start thinking about how to uh, price up the job. Instead of feeling pressured to sort of come up with um, a price and your method of doing it instantly. Um, now I'll walk you around this amazing, stunning property now. Everything you see here, yes, it is one property. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this would be, if I managed to um, come to a deal with the customer, um, this would be my biggest job by far, probably my biggest job for a long time. Um, but yeah, the tip is um, test patching. Now, I will uh, explain these tiles to you. I'll show you a bit closer up. There we are. So, as you can see, um, a little bit of green around the chimney, but that's fine. That's just coming from the very top of the chimney. Um, most of this you'll see a lot of black colour into it. Um, I'll try and get it into sort of better light. Now these are sort of rosemary tiles, so they're, you know, a, a reddish colour normally. But as you can see, it is turning quite black, um, green, black. Um, it's white lich and spots all over the place, but there's not much moss. So normally uh, the main um, objective of, of our job to get your nice before and after pictures instantly when you are scraping and biociding work. Um, is you get some instant results from removing the moss. Um, but then on a job like this where there isn't much moss, um, it can be uh, a little bit more difficult to sell sometimes, obviously because you all know that biocide is a longer process to get this stuff done. So what I will be doing today um, is doing a test patch. Now there's no point rushing, there's a particularly uh, dark spot here where my ladders are. So I'm going to be test patching around there. I might just do a few little places around the property as well. So then the, um, the customer can get sort of in touch, can keep an eye on it. So once the buyer st starts getting to work, I mean, it'll start getting to work instantly. Um, but to start seeing, you know, nice results, you're going to be looking weeks, months um, for it to start. Now, the main objective of doing a test patch um, is so they can just begin to see the results. So they can kind of imagine more of it here. Like it goes on forever. Um, quite green at the top there. Um, there's a lot of uh, yellow litching up there as well and a bit of moss. Um, yes, yeah, so they, then they can start to imagine what the roof is going to look like and they can sort of trust more that the product's going to work because you can imagine with a job this size um, it's not going to be uh, cheap to say the least so uh, asking someone to fork out you know the amount that this will be I haven't costed it yet I haven't priced it up at all um, but you know it's not going to be cheap is it let's face it so um, asking them to fork out x amount of money instantly uh, without even seeing any sort of result of what the job's going to look like yet um, would be a bit madness to me on big jobs like this. So test patching. So yeah, so basically scrubbing a bit of biocide into the roof. Um, I've just done a 10 litre mix there so it would um, it'll, you know, cover some of this roof um, and I'll do a little section around the other side of the property as well where it's a bit more green. Um, yeah, just as a fair result. Then in sort of a month's time, a couple of weeks, whenever the customer sees fit, that they can start seeing some noticeable results and sort of can kind of get in a, and imagine of what the roof will look like in a year's time. Um, you know, they'll give a call back and uh, you can go ahead. If not, if they're not happy with it, they're not happy with it. And then at least then someone hasn't paid out uh, thousands of pounds for a job that they're not happy with. Um, but, you know, you do explain the process as much as you can, especially with jobs like this where there's not much moss. It's mainly just algae and uh, grime and dirt. Um, yeah, that it's a slow process, just you've got to trust in the product, send the info sheets over um, and just try and educate as much as you can, have a chat and sort of explain because there's no point saying yes, your roof's going to look brand new in a few months and try and take money off someone because it may not be the case, it may take longer, um, you know, so yeah, worth doing. Yeah, just a quick little video there, I will uh, video me brushing the biocide in, um, but I just thought to say, because this isn't something I normally offer on smaller properties, um, it's not really worth it so you've got to travel to the job to do a test patch to then travel home to then wait a while to hear the results to then travel back again to do the job and travel back once more for the price that that's going to you know the time that's the time investment for that for a smaller property um just you know isn't really worth it but it's up to you if you want to do that that's fine i don't normally offer it if a customer asks then i would say yes um, but i don't typically offer it um, within my quotes unless it's you know a job that's quite large like this well very large to say the least so yeah thanks for watching
Well then folks, that's the test patch done. Um, I had quite a lot of solution actually, so I just um, sort of just did all of that there, as you can see. Um, there is moss on those tiles. However, I was um, I didn't realize uh, that I was gonna do this part, so I would have normally scraped that off beforehand, but it doesn't matter, because if uh, we do get the job, um, I'll come back anyway and just redo this anyway, just as I'm doing the rest of that, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, that's just sitting on there nicely. I'll put a lot on it, so it will be interesting um, to see, because usually I only visit jobs sort of, you know, after a year has gone by and see how they're getting on. Um, you know, they always look great, but it'll be interesting to see if I keep up how this is looking next month or the month afterwards, um, because it will be interesting. I'll try and keep hold of the pictures if I can remember. Um, but I mean, a good before and after picture will just be what's next to it. So the color of that, and hopefully, well, definitely over time that will come back, but hopefully it's quick, quick results. Um, and it starts to work, yeah, very nicely because um, it would be good to get this job sort of booked in and started, um, you know, around spring before summertime if possible, um, because it's gonna be a very busy time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I might have a different video uh, coming out today as well. I don't know, it might be another day, I'm not too sure. Um, but as I was here today, I thought I'd just do that because I never really um, speak about things like that. You know, it's a, a little part of the job, which I think a lot of people won't think to do. Um, but I think it's worth doing for these bigger jobs. So yeah, test patches, if you want to offer them, offer them. Um, it might be good. Um, even for your own peace of mind, even if you're just starting out now, do a test patch on your own house. Just do, you know, five square meters of your own roof um, and then you'll know what you're working with then. So then instead of being like worried about speaking to customers, you can sort of say, look, this is how it's going to happen. Blah, 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 blah. I've done it on my own house, you know, or in my case, I've done it on, you know, a lot of roofs at this point. So I know what to expect, but um, even this on these sorts of tiles with that much black, like fungi and algae on it, um, I'm not sure how quick it will come up. Um, every roof is different. This one's more facing the sun. So um, hopefully um, this will come up quicker than um, normal. But, uh, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes. And uh, so wish me luck. Hopefully I get the job because it would be nice. Um, but yeah, I've got some really cool videos coming up. I've got a pressure washer school um, next week, I think, or it might be the week after. No, 2nd of April, I'm pressure washing a school. I'm uh, going to be teaming up with my best friend in the world that I haven't worked with since I was about 19, I think. Um, yeah, he's the reason that I got into window cleaning in the first place. So, yeah, I'll be teaming up with him on that job. Um, so that'll be a really funny video. So watch out for that one. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.